I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on vectors. If A, B and C are three vectors and their sum is 0, where magnitude of vector A is 7, magnitude of B is 5, magnitude of C is 3, find the angle between vectors B and C. So we need to find angle between two vectors and we are given three vectors, their magnitudes, and that their sum is zero. The choices are 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60, and 75. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, since we need to find angle between B and C, let's begin with the given equation, which is vector A plus vector B plus vector C is equal to zero. We should actually treat this as a zero vector. Okay. Now, since we need angle between B and C, let's take A to the other side. So we get vector B plus C is equals to minus A. Now, let us square both sides. So if we square both sides, that is to say, uh, we get B plus C whole square equals to minus A whole square. Now, squaring means we are doing the dot product of this, right? So, so basically, it is B plus C dot B plus C, right? And here, we get the uh, magnitude square of A, right? So, which is magnitude of A whole square. Now, this gives us B dot B which is b square magnitude plus b dot c plus c dot b plus c dot c equals to magnitude of a square. Now this is uh, magnitude of b square plus two times uh, we get magnitude of b times magnitude of c times uh, angle between them which is cos let's say angle is theta and then we have plus magnitude of c square equals to magnitude of a square now from here we can isolate cos theta so we get cos theta equals to magnitude of a square minus magnitude of b square minus magnitude of c square divided by 2 times magnitude of b times magnitude of c right so like cosine law equation right so it is basically the same now let's substitute the values and calculate the answer so we get cos theta as equal to a magnitude is 7 so we get 7 square minus 5 square minus 3 square divided by 2 times 5 and 3 which is 49 minus 25 minus 9 over 10 times 3 is uh, 30 right so 30 so this is uh, 49 minus 9 is 40 when you take away 20 we get 15 so we get 15 over 30 which is half we know from special triangles that cos theta is half for what so half really means 1 over 2 this is for pi by 3 or 60 degrees right so that gives us the answer so we have theta equals to cos inverse of half which is equal to 60 degrees which is option c for us so that is how you can actually solve this question so I hope it helps now the trick here is since you know now if you are given three vectors that means they form a triangle right so this means we have a triangle right so we have a triangle correct now in this triangle you could actually apply cosine law so that reminds you of cosine law so if there is a multiple choice question in the test 
you could apply cosine law and find the angle very fast. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.